Welcome to New York State Online Services. In this video, we'll show you how to register as a dealer of cigarettes and tobacco products through the online services application. To begin, log into your New York State Business Online Services account with your username and password. If you haven't created a Business Online Services account, visit the Online Services section of our website to learn how. From your Account Summary page, select Services, located in the upper left. From the drop-down menu, select Registrations and Account Updates, then select Business Registrations. This will bring you to the Registration Summary page. To learn more about specific fields or questions, Select the blue question mark icon beside it for more information. In the section headed New Registration, you'll be asked what type of registration you need. Open the I Want to Register drop down menu and select To Sell Cigarettes and Tobacco Products. Then select the appropriate registration period from the drop down menu. When you are ready to proceed, select Add New Registration. The Verify My Business Information page will provide you with a summary of the business information associated with your online services account. If the information is correct, select the Yes button in the section headed Business Information. Below in the Address Summary section, Verify that the address information for your business is correct by selecting the Yes button. When you are ready to proceed, select Continue. If you select No for either section, you will be able to update your information. On the Registration Details page, let us know if your business or any of its responsible persons have been convicted of a tax crime under Tax Law Article 37 within the last year in this section headed Registration Information. You'll also be asked to provide the date your business began or plans to begin selling cigarettes and tobacco products. In the Retail Methods section, check the appropriate box to indicate the method of sale for your business. When finished, select Continue. Next, you'll be brought to the Affiliated Persons page. The section headed Affiliated Persons Summary showed the list all persons on file with the Tax Department who have more than 5% ownership interest. Review this information to be sure it's accurate. If the information needs to be updated, or if a listed affiliated person is no longer affiliated with the business, Select the hyperlink in the Name column to edit. If an affiliated individual or business is missing from the list, select Add Affiliated Individual or Add Affiliated Business. When finished, select Continue. Next, on the Business Locations page, select the retail location for this registration from the list of available locations associated with your business. If the desired location is not displayed, select Add New Location. When finished, select Continue. The Registration Fee page will provide you with a summary of your registration information. In the section headed Registration Fee Details, the registration fee will be listed as your total amount due. You should verify the information displayed. When you are ready to proceed, select Continue. On the Select Your Payment Method page, you can choose to pay online with a direct debit from a bank account or with a credit or debit card. If you choose to pay with a credit or debit card, 
the tax department's credit card services provider will charge a non-refundable convenience fee of 2.25% of the total payment amount. This fee is not collected by the tax department. There is no fee for paying by direct debit from a bank account. To make a payment by direct debit from your bank account, select Pay from Bank Account. The Pay from Bank Account page will allow you to make a direct debit payment from a checking or savings account. To make a payment, enter your bank routing number. The bank name should populate automatically. Next, enter and confirm your bank account number. Select the account type from the drop down box and enter the name of the account holder. If you'd like us to save your bank account information for future filings, check the box labeled Save Bank Account. When you're ready to review your registration, select Continue. This will bring you to the Review and Verify page. To review your affiliated persons or location information, select View. To make changes, select Edit. If no changes are needed, review the e-signature section and select Submit. On the Transaction Confirmation page, you'll receive a confirmation number to show that your registration has been received. You should print this confirmation page for your records by selecting Print. To print or save a copy of your full registration, select View slash Print Forms. If you're a cigarettes and tobacco products dealer and your retail method is vending machines, the process is slightly different. In this case, when you get to the Registration Details page, in the Retail Methods section, select the checkbox for Vending Machine. Then, provide the number of vending machines. When you are ready to proceed, select Continue. You'll then be directed to the Attach Vending Machine Details page, where you'll be asked to provide additional information about the vending machines reported on the previous page. Select Choose a file to browse your computer for the appropriate documentation. When you've located the appropriate file, select Upload File to attach the document to your registration. When you are ready to proceed, select Continue. This will bring you to the Registration Feed page, where you will be able to verify the amount due and continue to submit your payment. Be aware that certain registration types may require you to provide additional documentation. This will be shown on the Registration Summary page, which will display your submitted registrations, the status of each registration, the issued date, and the begin and end dates for each registration period. If the status of a registration is listed as additional information required, you will need to provide additional documentation for us to process your registration. Select the Actions button for the pending registration. Then select Attach Supporting Documentation. You'll be taken to the Attach Documents page where you will be provided with the opportunity to attach any supporting documents needed to process your registration. This will bring you to the Review and Verify page, 
where you'll be able to continue processing your registration. This completes our demonstration. If you have questions, please visit our website for further information. Thank you for your interest in New York State Online Services.